Well, there's three really big teams in Western Australian sprint car racing on a national basis, the Monty Motorsport and Cricky Motorsport team. But it's fair to say, you two, the Stathies, that Diamond Bay has, in particular in the last few years, become one of the major players in Australian sprint car racing. And it must be something, to start with you, Paul, that you must be very proud of, I reckon. Definitely, yes, for sure. I mean, it hasn't been easy, has it, Steve? Like, you've had to wholesale get invested. You can't just roll in and expect on an open trailer no. you're going to be able to compete. But no. what, what is it that makes you do this? Um, I don't really know. It's just a thing I've always loved to do and passion and um, succeed to win, um, desire, all those things. You've had yeah. some sort of ratbag drivers over the years, yeah. too, I might say. This one in particular, uh, clearly nobody else was available. No, no, it was a last-minute <laughs> last decision and... <laughs> Yeah, no, he's good. Um, he's busy at the moment, obviously. Yeah, he's eating. He's eating a significant amount of crab that he's just bought. Bought, of yeah. course. Or no, fished. no, he's he's good. And it's good for the team. One of the absolute, I would imagine, one of the the moments that you guys will look back forever on is having Jason Johnson in the car because obviously we never ever saw the way that that would end up. But to have one of the best drivers in the world before he passed away is a huge thing for this team. Yeah, um, it's a hard, hard one to answer, I guess, but. Um, yeah, we'll never know where it was ever going to go, I suppose, but yeah, um, I'm sure he would have been back. But things that happen, happen. I mean, like we've got this guy now, and yeah, you know, he's probably the next best driver in the world. So, and you got you've had Luke, like Luke Dillon often subs in the car for yep. you as well. So, yep. now I did bring up that a lot of really great West Australian teams, right? Never West Australian drivers in these cars. That's the bit we've got to fix. <laughs> I better not say why. <laughs> <laughs> we, we need to somehow, down, down the road if we could, it would be good to have, because we had Mark Wells in the Cricky Motorsport car for a season. It didn't necessarily go the way we planned it. But no, it would no. be cool one day to think that maybe a West Aussie could drive your car. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yep. definitely. I mean, yeah. we're all proud. <laughs> Eliza just said no. <laughs> I mean, we're all proud West Aussies in here, right? Well, that's actually a West Aussie car there. The one without the wheels that Corey has taken the wheels off to make sure nobody drives. What is, as, oh, look, what's he actually, look at this, you actually know what you're doing here. Uh, yeah, there's some pliers and crabs, so. You're a bit of a crabber. Yeah, clearly look at me. Look at that. You should have seen me ringing the pots in though. Is that right? Yeah, deadliest catch ain't got nothing on me. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, West Australian in the, in the teams in the past have struggled over in the east. Back in the day when Ronnie was riding for Kendrick Racing and yep. those guys would go over it every year to the Classic in the Australian title. It was hard sledding. Like we never yep. got the results that we got back home in WA. But now, you three teams, Monty yep. and Cricky Motorsport, we get after it now. As, yes. as a West Aussies, you must be very proud of that. I'll ask you about that. You must be proud of that. Yeah, most definitely. We are, I'm, I am proud of it. And But there's, uh, it doesn't come easy. It's uh, a hell of a lot of work and research and uh, making sure you get to talk to the driver. You got to be on your in game, confidence, mate. really, really yeah. onto every, and you gotta every little thing. Big time, got to invest. And yeah. investment, yeah. Well, that doesn't make the results, but um, it's just everything else makes them. Um, as proud Southwest families, too, as Bunbury families, you certainly realise, Steve, the massive significance of 23 years now of the Cricket mm. Boys Shootout. Mm. Yeah, um, I thought it was longer than that now, this but it's our 23rd running of it. Yeah, anyway. yeah, okay. Yeah, no, it's. It's a milestone for sure, and um, let's hope they keep it going. Absolutely. Well, we're close enough to 25. Yeah. I said to Ronnie, we're close enough to 25, so... Let's do 25. We've at least got to do the 25. Yeah. I just want to say a huge thanks to you guys for keeping the dream alive. For Thank you. For having a third major Blue Ribbon West Aussie team on the road, and good luck this weekend with the Cricky Boy Shootout. Thank you very much. Let's hope that old mate back there with the Thank crabs is going to be yeah. behaving himself. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs>